A Saudi-led airstrike in Yemen killed 20 people at a wedding, including the bride. So uh, this is reported by the independent.co.uk. Um, and this is uh, more horrifying news that, about what the Saudi-led airstrike. We, the United States, um, are backing them. Uh, we've sold weapons to the Saudis. The UK has sold weapons to the Saudis. And this is not being covered by the mainstream media. They don't want to talk about this. And it hit a wedding party. Now, the mainstream media, when the Houthis uh, strike the Saudis, the mainstream media covers that because, oh, we're, the, the, see, we, we've got bad rebels in Yemen we got to deal with. What this article doesn't even go into is the 130 kids that die every day. It touches on the humanitarian thing a little bit. Um, the Independent does decent stuff, but it's uh, this 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 will show you the influence of everything. Um, I'll just read a little bit from the article. Uh, a Saudi-led coalition airstrike hit a wedding party in northern Yemen. The dead were mostly women and children gathered in a tent up for a wedding in the Bani. Uh, Kais District, according to Khalid Al Nadiri, the leading health official in the northwestern Haja province. Um, hospital chief said the groom and 45 other wounded people were brought to the local hospital. 30 of those injured were reported to be children, with some in critical condition having suffered severed limbs and shrapnel wounds. Um, Footage that emerged from the scene of the airstrike showed scattered body parts and a young boy in a green shirt hugging a man's lifeless body, screaming and crying. Um, health ministry spokesman said ambulances were initially unable to reach the site of the bombing for fear of subsequent airstrikes as the jets continued to fly overhead after the initial strike on Sunday. Uh the from the TV station there um, of the armed Houthi movement. This is what's the, how they put it: the armed Houthi movement. Okay, um, which controls the area and much of northern Yemen. Claimed on Twitter account that 33 people have been killed and 55 wounded. More than 10,000 civilians have been killed and tens of thousands wounded in three years of war in Yemen. Something Obama started. Um, the civil war broke out after the government uh, of Abdu Rabdu Mansur Hadi was pushed out of the capital, signed by the Houthis in March of 15. It led to a military intervention by the Saudis and others. Some 22 million people, or 80% of the population, are in need of humanitarian aid. In there is where you might want to put 130 kids die every day. UN officials have accused the Saudi Arabia-led coalition of war crimes and being responsible for most of the killings. Airstrikes have hit weddings, busy markets, hospitals, and schools. The coalition, who do they blame? The Iranian-backed Houthi rebels. See? It's called the proxy war. We're fighting with Iran. In Yemen. And Iran is doing business with the Russians so they can get their pipeline through Syria. Yemen, the poorest country in the world, were blowing up weddings. These are our good friends, the Saudis. This is the kind of business that they do. Earlier this month, the UK approved 170 million, 170 million pounds aid package for several million Yemenis at risk of starvation. In November last year, Theresa May government was criticized for allowing arms deals with Saudi Arabia worth billions of pounds. That's why a bunch of Brits wanted Jeremy Corbyn in there. And that's why the UK media, the corporate media, smears Jeremy Corbyn because he's anti-war. One of the things that helped get Trump elected was he was anti-interventionist. Why are we doing this? Why are we involved in this? The minute he gets in power, the deep state says, you better change your tune, friend, and he does. So if you're a Trump supporter, you, you better, I, I can't, I don't understand how you can still support this guy after what he's doing. Unless you're just in favor of the pro-war media. But that's the other thing. CNN, MSNBC, they're all hot in the bother to blow up Syria and go to war with Russia and North Korea. <clears throat> but they're not talking about this. 
look what we're doing. They're using our weapons and some of the airstrikes, you know, that's uh, they bought it's all weapons they bought from us and we're in involved in the coordination of the strikes. Our military is involved in this. It's not just like, "Hey, we sold them the weapons and what they do with them, that's their business." I mean, these are weapons, so it's not we are our our the American uh, thumbprint is all over this and it's despicable. Um so It's imagine if you went to a wedding and you, and your bride was killed, or just there was a there was an exp, an airstrike during your wedding. This is what we're doing in the Middle East. Obama helped expand this. He took us from two wars to seven. It's why I want to see an anti-war movement and I'm, I'm, I'm encouraged when I see the March for Our Lives and then I hear there's a women's march coming up that is going to be like the women's, I guess the people that organize the women's march are uh, organizing an anti-war march, which I hope happens because, but it's going to take more than marches on the weekends. It's going to take more than marches on the weekends. So um, I hope you know, stuff like this inspires more of us. And it's, and it's why I say everything's connected. One of the reasons I got an electric car was I didn't want to give money to the oil industry that helps fuel this because that's what this is all about is the petrodollar. It's why I try to take public transportation and even if not use my car, it's why I try to like, that's what, that's what. And those are the little things we can all do because this is, this is horrifying. And I don't want this done in my name. So I'm going to report on stuff like this because you guys support the channel and the mainstream media won't. Cut your cable, join Patreon. The money you could be giving to the big cable companies, give to independent news people like myself, whoever else you watch, Jimmy Dore, Actify Chat, Ron Placone, whatever, Abby Martin, support, support these people, support all of us because we're going to tell you the truth. No one's, no one's, telling me what to say or not to say. Thanks for watching.